Welcome to Frame 316 Media Channel. So if you are a small business owner, a digital content creator, an entrepreneur, an influencer, or whether you have a message that you need to bring across to a specific audience, you are in the right space. Because in this channel, I'm going to talk about content creation, creativity, design, editing, and I will be covering a lot of stuff that would uh, involve tech and updates. And these things would help you become a better storyteller. So if you're ready for the journey, hop onto the channel right now, check out the other videos after watching this video today. And I hope that you would uh, start your journey in crafting better stories from today. So in this video, I'm just going to show you very quickly how you can use a simple trick uh, for you to be able to export to Premiere Pro faster. Um, what I'm working on right now is this is a 4K video. This is a blog that I've already done. As you can see, it's uh, 24 minutes duration. So practically a 4K video in a 24 minutes duration would take a while to uh, export right uh, I'm using a 64 gigabyte uh, MacBook Max M1 so this is relatively fast but whatever RAM you're using you know whatever hardware you're using this simple step would um, increase you know your um, speed up your uh, export time so if you are a small brand you know doing your own videos most likely uh, you would be editing your own videos in Premiere Pro being accessible to a lot of us uh, can be or would be your number one choice so very quickly um, I'm not gonna dig very deeply into dig deeply into the Premiere Pro interface here so when we export right we go to file menu and then we look for the uh, export media option so this is what we usually see uh, of course uh, whatever you want to call this it has a number because I've already exported this. And usually you would choose for the location. This is very pretty standard. This is what I want to focus on. So on a preset by default or most likely you have been exporting because you want to match the source. Match source means you now whatever is the setting of your sequence is going to be updated. And the format, we are very familiar with H.264, right? But this is what I want to talk about, right? So when I click export, Okay, you can see from the screen, right? Um, of course, this would change, you know, this would vary until it, you know, the exporting stabilizes. But roughly, when you look at the timing here, you know, for this 24 minutes 4K video on a 64 gigabyte RAM, it would take more than an hour, you know, roughly. But that would uh, change, you know, as you uh, export. But let me show you this simple trick that you can do. I'm going to cancel this. So... We're gonna export the same video, but this time when I hit export and then media, I would just simply choose a different setting in the format. So if you choose HEVC H265, you know, this is practically an upgrade of H264, you know. But what I noticed when I first used this, you know, I was like uh trying my uh different export steps, right? So it's still the same output your uh, 4k you know, based on your sequence but when I export this roughly 30 minutes and it quickly goes down because it exports faster than H.264 right so this would save you a lot of time uh, because editing involves a lot of work and a lot of time and exporting should not be you know, something that uh, it would be taking a lot of your time from your um, whatever you're doing on your projects right now so it stabilizes roughly at you know 24 minutes as you can see so uh that's the very simple trick that i wanted to share so again whether you're using a 60 gigabyte a 64 gigabyte or 128 gigabyte ram it doesn't matter the idea is it would drastically speed up your export so i hope this quick video tip would help you on your next export on premiere pro Thank you for watching today's video and if you find any value in the video that you have seen, please be sure to subscribe and share this video to your colleagues and your friends who would benefit in the area of storytelling because everything starts from where you are right now. It only takes creating one story.